well welcome back to another Dino Days video as you can see a lovely red FN2 in the house Milano red today we've actually already fitted a beautiful spoiler that Uncle Keith has painted that looks absolutely lush it's a lovely car this we've also fitted yep a bigger throttle body and a skunk 2 fuel rail which looks absolutely tremendous it's time to map it up on the Ecotech software so we'll give it a run and then we'll get tuning. Here we go. Look at that. Well, an FN2, a red one, a red one that we've seen before. And today, it's had a lovely spoiler fit to the back of it that Uncle Keith painted and the lads fitted. Looks wicked. It's also had today a throttle body fitted and a Skunk 2 fuel rail. Now, obviously, the fuel rail's not going to give us any gains, but the throttle body might have given us some gains. However, let me exaggerate this for everybody watching. 99 Ron fuel. Mm. Take it away, Rich. He did say he stopped and put some fuel in on the motorway before he got here because it was the last stop off. He of said course. it was E5 fuel, but he's not sure what fuel it was, i.e. like what make of fuel it was and or whether it was 97 or 99. I think it was 97. Yeah, so I think we're possibly on 97 here, which obviously it's not necessarily hers. We've made identical power to what we previously made. Yeah. Two things going on here. One, the throttle body is, yeah, okay, it's a throttle body and that may give you some more gains and it may not give you some more gains because obviously ultimately if the four to one manifold has got a two and a quarter inch collector on it which it has then that obviously will hurt you and it, obviously you've got a Tegra 70 mil which is a good exhaust but the collector on the manifold is where this car will be will, will suffer jap speed it is yeah so, so it, 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 compared to the difference say for example to daz r's that had a, a, a big bore manifold with a three inch collector on it and then a three inch exhaust then obviously daz r's got three inches yeah there's a, lot, there's a lot more power to be had there at that mm. point. Then, obviously, the throttle body does come into its own and it will make some power. I just feel with this combination of mods, we're at the point where it's struggling to get out rather than necessarily mm. bringing air in. So the throttle body, at this stage, didn't offer us any gains. 
you know, are we really trying to squeeze every last drop of power out? And I'm looking at the data that I've got there and I'm worried that it's on 97 run as opposed to 99 run. It's 12 degrees hotter today than the last time we've seen this car. It was, in the, it was actually December. Yeah, but we've done well. I think, as far as I'm concerned, we've made exactly the same power um, that we made on the previous on the, on the previous tune. In some areas were slightly up, some areas were slightly down. It's just the way it is. Yeah, uh, we can only tune with what we've got. Oh, agreed. I think that's where agreed. I think that's the order of the week this week, where it seems to be that we've either had a not a normal combination of mods previous video was a silver fn2 and from memory that had uh, a bit of a mismatch in exhaust well it parts. had mismatching parts the uh, the jdm ep3 that had a mixed match of parts mm. we've certainly had this week uh, uh, cars that don't have i suppose our Op normal optimized yeah, modifications. Our, yeah our normal optimized modifications now there's nothing wrong with the modifications on this car um it's just that now we're getting to the point where we're maxed out the air yeah, coming in yeah we need to look uh, at exhaust think, options to get it out and i do believe that this part of the video is always um is always a, a reflection on the modification that each car has and you guys know if you follow the youtube channel and you've got an fn2 if you've watched a lot of the videos by now you've got to grips with what parts flow the best what parts seem to make the most power we will map any car on any combination of modifications. Well, as but, we have done this week. Yeah, but ultimately, when people see another car and they want that amount of power, we have to ask ourselves, well, what modifications has that car got to be able to make that amount of power? And then if everything was hunky-dory and all the engine and everything was exactly the same and you had those mods, there's a good chance you could achieve them with the same amount of Yeah, mods. for anyone that thinks we're being negative about every car, that's not necessarily the case. What we're trying to suggest here is, is to tell people what is the best mod for their car. It's basically... Go, so if they've got these mods and they wanted to go further, what would be the next option? Yeah, this I believe uh, valuable that this section of the video is what to do next yeah, to yeah. move forward. And it's, it's a plan. You know, we do things here in the workshop like health checks and the health checks are where to spend the money next to keep your car on the road for the coming years. And when it comes to dyno tuning, it's where to spend money next to make more power if you want to move forward. Now, this car might be absolutely suitable for the customer's needs. He's going to drive it. He's going to love it. But the question might be, how do I make more power, lads? Yeah, I want to make 240, for example. And this is the answer. We're going to go for these this selection of mods. This is what we're going to go for next. Take of a 70 mil exhaust is awesome. But there's a three inch version um, that you can get. There's a three inch exhaust that you can get. Mm. And, and that would be a better exhaust system it's more money it just depends what the customer wants and how much money yeah they want, to spend. It, they want to spend on it yeah for sure but anyway should we have a look at that graph let's look at this graph okay so unusually but as as per script red line is as she came in blue line is as she leaves um we have got ourselves uh 229 brake horsepower so we finish on 188 um yeah 188 at the wheels uh 229 and there we go that's another one of the back it, it does look lovely and i'm really pleased uncle keith's spoiler on the back there looks absolutely glorious which you can get from the web shop if you want and we can get it painted and fitted skunk to fuel rail looking gorgeous rrc it's got a tegiwa induction kit on it richard now, in comparison to, we, we, we've already had this conversation, but in comparison to other cars such as Dazar's, Dazar has a much bigger one. Mm. <laughs> He'll love it that. It does indeed. He'll love that part of this it video. Will, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so there are improvements to be made. Obviously, we can get more air in if we have a CPL big bore reduction kit, etc. But yeah, beautiful car, this. I really like it. It's got some modifications that I really, really like. So yes, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. For the Dino Days faithful that watch every single video, we love you. And uh, we hope to see you soon at a Dino Days Honda meet. Say it again. Life pretty fast.